call Mr. Martin O'Mullier for a topical question. Corley, can I bring the Minister back to the Ligon and to the inner city and the markets area, if that's not too much to ask? Uh, I would like to get an update on the environmental improvement scheme, uh, which is planned for the market. I don't want to give away my supplementary, but there's been more planning than action, Minister. Well, I don't have the specific details with me in relation to that particular scheme, but what I'm quite happy to do is to give the member uh, an update in regards to it, because I want to ensure in that scheme, as opposed to, uh, uh, as considered to any of the others, that we continue to make progress. But the progress can only be made whenever there is a working together of all the agencies concerned, and we have the overall amount of budget which is made available to deliver these schemes. Mr. Muller for supplement. Uh, and, and, and thank you, Minister, as well. Um, I suppose the problem is that phase three and four of the environmental improvement scheme never happened. Uh, what I would like to ask you, Minister, you have been in, in, in Sandy Row, which is almost a partner area in development with the market. Uh, we, we did invite you in before Christmas. There was a crisis in government. Then we thought before Minister there was another crisis. Uh, we probably won't make it for the summer, but I do hope, Minister, you will take up the invite to visit the market to see the great work that's going on there in partnership with surrounding communities. And the environmental improvements can be a key part of that. Yeah, well, the member makes reference to, and rightly so, in terms of phases three and four. I think that uh, it is certainly a challenge to uh, ensure that we see delivery. But the crisis that he makes reference to, I trust, weren't of my making, uh, and it is no reflection of my good will to try and see the delivery of the project that undoubtedly would have a huge impact uh, for the people in the markets area and would make uh, a huge impact onto their well-being and their quality of life. And uh, whether it's this scheme or whether it's, it's others, that, uh, and there's a myriad of these, there's, there's a, a, a multiplicity of schemes that I have been involved with and my department have been involved with over the last number of months and years. And I think that what we need to ensure we, we don't do is lose the focus of how important it is for the communities that want to see these projects delivered. For other members who have a very cavalier attitude to this, that we shouldn't be spending this amount of money and we should be spending it on other things, I think sometimes we need to take cognizance of the communities that we're delivering these projects in and listen to their voices and listen to their concerns and try as best we possibly can and deliver for them.